it's dark in here. It's dark in here, man. But we have light. <laughs> and we have dimmable light. Ooh, yeah, set the mood, baby. I like it. So I've been working a little bit. Um, I'm kind of half-ass working here. That's uh, the cargo area back there. And uh, I ran out of my carpet material, that stuff right there. Um, got one panel carpeted. And then I've got that's my, my poking stick. This side is not carpeted yet. But at least to dry fit it. And I put the, the cool white back here for the cargo area. I got these cool lights right here that are going to go up here. Um, they'll mount right there on the door panel. I'll probably carpet that too. I just wanted to try and see what the wood stain looked like. Then I'm just going to have a 6x9. It'll be right about here. And a 6x9 right about here. And uh, when you open the doors, these will shine out to our gear while we're loading our gear. And we'll have some tunes rocking. And uh, they're nice and bright lights, really. So I got these on the switch back here. I'm never going to need this unless I'm back here. And if me and the wife go camping and put the kiddo in the couch bed up front, we'll take the back on a blow-up mattress or something. And uh, we just will need those two lights. I'm going to put some power down here, 12 volt, kind of, you know. Got a couple of these. I, I, I like these. They got the USB. They got the 12 volt or two 12 volts and a switch. And then this one right here, I put up, maybe I'll put that one in the back actually with the voltage meter so I can just check the voltage in the middle of the night kind of thing and uh, on and off switch. I bought one of these and um, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it or not. It's, it's kind of tacky. Instead, I bought a bunch of these little little switches like this and um some different colors on them they have amber and green and blue and red and uh, i think i'm just gonna use the blue ones maybe and uh probably just use these instead of that big bulky thing but i did modify this so that's on three different circuits um it came as one thing and i mean jesus that's just Six switches, a 12 volt, a USB, and a voltage meter all on one circuit. That just seems like a lot. So I split it up into this group right here of three, this group right here of three, and then the top three are on their own group. But uh, got my power. I know it's like spaghetti right now, but um, I'm pretty stoked. Um, I'll clean it up eventually. But this is the Renogy uh, battery to battery uh, alternator charger MPPT controller, all that. Looks like I've got everything fused properly. I'm using the Victron uh, battery monitor, smart battery monitor. I can look at it on my phone. It's pretty cool for me because I'm kind of a beginner at this, and it's nice to be able to see uh, what appliances or what lights are drawing what. Anyway. Um, right now, this is my, my ground is just a self-tapper uh, for, for testing purposes. And then um, I got this big ass inverter and I got a little nine volt TV or 12 volt TV, sorry. It's not bad, man. It's a Jensen and it's a 19 inch. And, um, you know, I think I'm gonna mount it over here. It's on a swivel arm. Um, I didn't really think all this shit out while I was making. I was just happy to get going. I like to put six by nines right here and right here. Um, I just made that one today and I'm going to make a template off of that so I can transfer it to here. And, um, I, my battery monitor's right here. I got, uh, everything's accessible from the driver's seat because I'm going to be driving around five or six guys in the band, and uh, sometimes people forget to turn off things. I got a, I've got a 
uh, one one ten outlet in there, and I've got a twelve volt outlet in there. Just a single thing. I haven't even wired it up yet. But yeah, I'm got twelve volt down here. Uh, this will be for one of these guys, and then I got a twelve volt back here for the second row, and then I'm gonna put a twelve volt uh, USB kind of thing in the back too. Pretty stoked. This is a. Uh, I ran some extra wire for future proofing, which I think might have been the smartest thing I've done so far. And yeah, man, I'm stoked. This is a lot of fun. You know, these are cool lights that I found. Um, they're touch lights. So you touch it like that once, it turns blue. You touch it again, and you got a little light. So I gotta finish off the bottom of this. Oops. Finish off the bottom of the cab, uh, the uh, cabinets up here, and these guys will mount, you know, like so, on a on a finished uh, piece of wood. So something that looks like like that. Pretty cool, man. And then I, I made these cabinets right here to be. I'm waiting for my struts to show up, but they're the soft clothes kind of thing. And I just got some, some pine board. I like the knottiness of it. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but I've textured the edge with a Dremel and just kind of roughed it up a little bit so that it just had a more natural feel. And if it does get nicked or banged or whatever, I'm not gonna get pissed off. So pretty stoked, man. It is, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm getting a little bit bored with uh, the build because I'm, I'm waiting on stuff, man. I'm, I know that's the nature of it. I obviously, you know, didn't want to buy too much material at once because I'm not rich, but uh, also didn't want to have too much of anything. So anyway, uh, solar panels working um today what today was the first day they got to run i've got two 160 watt panels of energy and so 320 watts of solar with two 100 amp hour battle borns. those are like the most expensive thing that i've got in here right now and um but the rest of it all adds up that's for sure um anyway yeah, lumber and batteries and everything else just kind of piecemeal. But yeah, I was only getting 50 to 60 watts of power today. It wasn't totally bright sunny, super awesome sunny. Um, I tried to check it at noon and see where I was at, but it wasn't, it was uh, a little cloudy at that moment. So um, it just, yeah, I, I first time with solar panels, so I really didn't know what to expect. But as you can see, I just it's a big wreck in here, and it's raining right now a little bit, sprinkling at least. So all my stuff is in here. But that's how it goes. But anyway, uh, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna need more than two panels. Uh, 320 watts is pretty good, especially because I'm gonna be using the car to, or the Sprinter, the van, whatever you want to call it, the Bohemoth. And this is an extended. Um, I'm really glad I got the extended because I'm basically going to have the cabin area stop right here. This is about eight feet to here and seven feet back to there. So seven feet of storage, eight feet of cabin. Um, and I did cut my cabinets a little bit short because I thought maybe, maybe I don't need that much room for the cabin. So we'll see. Um, I'm waiting for my, my seat guy. I'm used in uh, this guy, Lenny, at Custom Connection outside of Chicago. I'm in Memphis, but he did some work on a buddy of mine's van and he did a good job. He's going to install the seats properly. He's licensed, bonded, insured, all that good stuff. And I just want things to be safe. And, um, I probably could have done it myself and I did look under the van, but um, I didn't want to drop the gas tank myself and just get into all that and create future problems. So 
it's cool. He knows what he's doing. He's done it before. I'm going to let him do it. Um, the learning curve would cost me more than what I'm going to spend to have it done right. Anyway, it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying this whole thing. Um, this is one of the hardest things I did <laughs> was trying to wrap my head around um, adding a light switch on the opposite side of where all my wires were. <clears throat> but man, <clears throat> I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a woodworker. I'm a, I make uh, cigar box guitars and guitars and I'm a musician. I'm definitely not an electrician. Um, I've only blown one five amp fuse, you know, with this mess over here, I was running the wire. I hooked it up to the fuse box first and then ran the wire like an idiot and learned that lesson real quick. It was just a quick little spark, you know, scared the shit out of me, but you know, you pop a five amp fuse, you move on. So cool. Look us up. Ghost town blues band. <laughs>